Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video, we're going to go over question 61 to 63 of section 3 of the pink booklet. So this is a question about um, a drug called digitoxin, and it increases the speed and the force of heart contraction. But there are some side effects and the different ways of producing this, uh, different extracts, um, can lead to different outcomes, both in side effects and the levels of success in treatment. And that's what this graph is showing. So we've got the different preparations at the bottom and then on the y-axis we've got our number of patients. So I've copied out the graph that they have here and we'll start off with question 61. It says, according to the data provided, an advantage to the dry of the dried leaf preparation over the watery extract is what? So we're going to be comparing these two. So what can we tell from the, the, the graph here which would be um, useful? So looking at the green bar, we can see that proportional to the total, which is the blue bar, um, there's going to be less side effects using the dried leaf method, um, or so it seems. But if you look at the red bar in comparison to the blue bar, you can see that actually the dried leaf preparation has a greater percentage of people that are treated successfully. So why is that important? Well, obviously we we're told that this is um, a heart medication and it was used a lot and using a dried leaf preparation, if that um, increases the percentage of patients that were treated successfully, then that would be an advantage. So the answer for this one, which is 61, is going to be B. If we look at 62 then, it says for the watery extract, Suppose that side effects only occurred for patients who were treated successfully. How many patients had neither successful treatment nor a side effect? So supposing that only those who were treated successfully had side effects, that means um, that the total number of people's side effects, let's say it's 12 here, um, is the same group. You know, those 12 people are in the successful treatment group. Um, so those who had neither a successful treatment nor a side effect, um, really the question is then what is the, what was the percentage of people had, that had no success in their treatment at all? Because of course everyone who had uh, side effects were treated successfully. So looking at the graph here, we're looking at the difference essentially from this point and this point, and as far as I can see, that's roughly about 25 patients. So the answer to 62 is going to be 25 or B. We've got our final question now, which is for the alcoholic extract, suppose the greatest possible number of patients who were treated successfully had side effects. The number with side effects who were not treated successfully is what? So because the number of people with side effects was less than the a uh, number of people that were treated successfully, then we could say that everyone who had side effects was treated successfully. And therefore the number of people with side effects who were not treated successfully is gonna be zero. And that answer is A. So that was question 61 to 63.